paint with me as I read from All Along You Were Blooming by Morgan Harper Nichols. I am not sure who has made you feel insignificant, but I can assure you, no matter how you have been made to feel, your voice deserves to be heard. Your words are meant to be felt, and the life that comes out of you is unique to you and no one else. You may not have the next few years figured out, and there are times when you want to speak up, but you do not know how. But when the words do finally come, and you find the courage to open up, your story will not be too much. Your story is not just a shallow pool collecting a little rain here and there from what maybe could have should have been. Your story is a sea weighted with mystery and wave after wave it reveals more and more, no matter the opportunities you missed or left behind on the shore. Your story has every ounce of water it needs. It is not missing any long gone thing. All by grace, it is still being written in the way it was meant to be. Even though you have learned the skill of running on empty, and now is the time to learn the art of breathing deep all over again, letting no one make you feel that you cannot show up with the truth of where you are. And some may not be ready for your honesty, but those people are likely equally dissatisfied as they have not found the harvest yet. So do not be discouraged. This is no reflection of you. You are still free to live your honest story in the way it was meant to be written. It wasn't until she reached the shore that she realized she was meant for water. She no longer yearned to linger on the lawn where she had been rejected. She had reached her end and it was there she learned to see. This was not the end at all, this was the beginning. And it would be here, as the waves rushed in, she would hear the sea calling. She is starting again. She is coming out to sea to be a soul set free from who she was back then. And she will go forth in deeper waters with hope as the anchor for her soul, reminding her that it was never other people that made her feel truly whole. And all along, she was called to more, a glorious life beyond the shore. No matter where the journey takes you, light will lead you through. Let this be your morning song, for it is far too easy to feel alone out there in crowded subways and highways and trafficked walkways. They all have a way of reminding you of everyone who has moved on so quickly without you. But no matter who stays or who walked away, remember all the things they taught you. Remember the paths and the tunnels you have traveled through. You learn to see the shapes within the shadows. You learn to find the window and wait for the birds of the new day to sing, to remind you of all that is changing. If you are swimming in a sea of unanswered questions, may you find the courage to be silent. And while the waves fall over one another in a splash of black and blue, slowly drowning out your thoughts, leaving you with nothing else to do but fall helplessly under the body of rolling water, do not think you must rush on. It is okay to spend some time here. It is okay to be the only one here. The shore is calling, but today you're in the water. Find its purpose its substance. Wait in silence. Fall into a place of listening and surrender and trust that even here, these whirling waters will not carry you on forever. And when the current comes, you will be lifted up, carried to the shore, and you will be better for having been here, embracing silence amidst the water's roar. Listen out for the low-pitched song of the bluebird the rustling leaves, the sound of rain. Listen for any little reminder of life. Feel it call you by name. Consider the small and nearly missed. Consider the bold, unanimously grand. Consider it all something worth tasting and cherishing, making the most of your days at hand. Consider it a natural thing. If this way of living takes some patterning and getting used to, for this is an unfolding of a novel length awakening of seeing 
what has always been calling you. And whenever she starts to forget the story of her original bloom, the flowers of this green earth remind her she too will spring up from the ground again. Gravity will not restrain her, for the sun and rainfall will propel her up from gritty soil into open morning air, and light will meet her there, and she will begin to unfold in a way she is meant to.